What's up, Pokey fans? Pokemon Trainer X here with the next episode of the Dr uh, Mono Dragon Pokemon Vault White 2 Redux run. Last episode, we got our first gym badge, which was against Cheron. Um, he was a normal type. We then made our way to Verbank City. We got given a super rod by Cheron as well and shown about the dark grass and how it the Pokemon are a little bit stronger and can be double battles. When we arrived in Verbank City we saw Roxy who's the gym leader of this city um, having a bit of an argument with her dad who's the sailor that gets you to Castelia City. Apparently he wants to become a like a superstar in movies and that sort of thing. They had a bit of an argument. He, he went off and she stormed off back to a gym. Today's episode we'll obviously be getting that badge from Roxy but we'll also be getting some new captures so we can get Horsey um, from fishing in Verbank City and we can also get given a Charmander where Charizard becomes a dragon from an NPC which we will do in a sec so as it stands this is currently our team we had a couple of evolutions as well last episode so a Reap's now a Flayfee Snivy is now a Servine, also picked up that Dragon type in, and Bagon is still Bagon. So yeah, we're just going to go and um, explore the city. I can't remember exactly what we can get, and then we'll go and fish for our horsey. Uh, so we found a smoke ball in the house here. And down here we have Brawly from Hoenn, with his Makahita standing next to him. I've just realised we need to go back and battle Roxanne as well. So we might do that in this episode as well. And this guy gives you some Ultra Balls. Not bad. Talks to you about a Magnemite that he caught that helped against Roxanne's gym, but obviously we can't use it. And this clown here is who gives you the Kanto starter. We, I am most certain, come I gift you a special Pokemon, take your pick. So you get to pick which one, and obviously we will be going with Charmander. Ah, oh, why did I back out of that? I'm not even trying to pronounce that French. There you go. You can get the others from a hidden grotto, but I'm not 100% sure where that hidden grotto is. You will raise that Pokemon well. Pardon where I found this Pokemon. It came from, how do you say, hidden grotto. See, so yeah, that's what he tells you. I don't think it comes with its hidden ability. I think it's just Blaze. Oh, it does actually. In Sunshine, special attack is boosted by HP decreases. Level 5, so it's obviously going to need to be uh, brought up to scratch. So yeah, the house where the NPC for the Kanto starts is right next door to the gym, in case anybody wants to go there. This trash can has an antidote in. This woman gives you a focus band. Not really that useful. And um, we found the TM for Power Up Punch. Pretty useful TM. Just in the Verbanks complex. This guy trades you a Pokeball for a Great Ball. I think you can come back and do this once a day. And uh, we can now fish for a Horsey. However, if you follow it all the way around, you find a hidden uh, item there, which is wise glasses. Finally, we got a horsey. I know it's a low counter eight, but I think we got Bagon quicker than we got this. And Bagon's a very low catch rate. Um, spawn rate, not catch rate. Just need to make sure we don't knock it out, but he should live a swift. Just about. There we go, and now our team is complete for now. So it's got sniper as well, which I think it's hidden ability. 
powers up moves if they become critical hits, which is good because when it becomes a siege rate, it learns Octazooka, which I know. Um, what's it called? Has a high critical hit chance, so he's going to be useful. So if we head into the Verbank complex, this guy asks you to round up all his trainers and he gives you something for it. I can't remember what he does not give you, but we'll do it anyway. And we've got the TM for Incinerate, which is just down the left there. So here's the first trainer. I'm happy to just be with my awesome Pokemon. What about, I guess so, I'll play a bit. So I think there's three workers in total, this is the first one. And Charmander's evolving into Charmeleon. Means he becomes a bit more useful now, not as frail. And he wants to learn Firefang as well. So we can actually get rid of Ember. I completely forgot. If I don't work really hard, my Pokemon won't have a chance to shine. Alright, time to get to work. And the next worker, if you just drop down off there, is here. I get bored when things don't change, so I don't mind battling you. This one shouldn't be too easy, uh, too hard either. Again, not a hard battle at all. It's okay if every day is the same when I'm working at this complex. It means there aren't any problems. You can also catch Pawniards here which is a good counter to uh, Roxanne's gym because steals and it's immune to poison and you get a great wall from this spot here and the last worker is just over here working at this complex was my dream but now that it's come true I've got everything I want what the foreman said so okay fine we just have the battle right horsey is so frail I, like and it's a while till it evolves yet as well I came to this complex and my Pokemon could accomplish a lot. That means that as a trainer I have to work like crazy. So we've done all three of them, we can go and get the reward. But first we'll grab this mental herb, as it's best sense to be something a bit better. Oh, oh well. So hey, you did it, didn't ya? This is the token of my thanks. Okay, it gives you the TM for Rock Smash. The complex is lively because everyone is so fired up and ready to go. So this guy here, if you speak to him, he starts talking a load of nonsense. Heating crude oil separates it into many different components. That's what this distillation tower is for. It's also known as a topper, but I want to call it a distillation tower. Oh, my knowledge overflowed and it was overheard. And he runs off. But yeah, you just chase him down and eventually you get something. And you get a tiny mushroom from this spot over here. And next you find him over here. The smokestacks of the complex rise up into the sky. That powerful silhouette is sure breathtaking, isn't it? By the way, they're burning up waste gas. Recently, they've found all sorts of uses for this gas, though. Oh, you overheard some of us like a knowledge. And he runs off again. I think this is the last time, though, we have to chase him down. Those gas holders are sure an expression of harmony, aren't they? There's a reason behind that shape. A Saphir is best for withstanding the tremendous pressure inside. It would be nice if they would draw a Pokemon on these gas holders too. Oh, you overheard some of my breathtaking knowledge. Are you actually interested in what I have to say? That would mean I have a complex buddy. That makes me really happy. Well then take this with you and he gives you the scope lens. So that would be good for um, Horsey actually. And she gives you the TM for low sweep as long as your habitat list for here is full. And that's everything, so now we just got to do some grinding. Um, we've got to get everyone to about probably level 22. And then we'll take on uh, Roxy. So grinding becomes a little bit easier in black and white too, because you can get shaking spots like this, which most of the time will give you Audino. And just look at how much XP these are going to give up. So look at how much XP that is. 
and that's split because I've got an XP share on a uh, horsey. Like we're going to be at level 22 in no time. Right, well I feel we're ready to take on Roxy now. I got everyone up to level 24. I know I, was, I, I, know I said I was going to do 22 but I realised that 24 is probably going to be more ideal. 22 would have been a little bit too tough. But um, when we come to the actual Roxy fight I'm going to lead with Servine because I think he gets outsped by most things and because it were coming in on toxic spikes, Venice Shock doing double damage, there's no chance Servine is like withstanding anything so taking out the um, leading Pokemon which is more just the suicide lead is probably going to be the best choice for it. So let's head on in. And it's a rock band. This is Pokemon Gym and it's also a rock club. The gym leader and the others are practicing inside but please feel free to challenge all of them. Oh, you'll need to stay hydrated, here you go, and get enough fresh water. So, when we go in, as you can tell, it's very loud. Um, we can't actually um, take on Roxy until we make everything go quiet. So we need to take them out one by one, starting with the drummer first. So that weren't actually too hard. Having Charmeleon makes such a difference. And then next we take out the guitarist. And again, not a challenging battle, but now it's gone a lot more quiet, so she can actually hear us. But first we need to heal. Right, let's see if we can do this with level 24 Pokemon. Get ready, I'm going to knock some sense out of you. Short and sweet. So yeah, the plan is lead Servine and kind of trade suicide lead for suicide lead. I'm going to get a leech seed off there. It's going to go for toxic spikes. I think it does two layers. That paralysis. Ah, oh, if we would have got that. We should KO it this turn though. So that's not actually a bad start. Ghastly comes in. We outspeed it as well. Oh, if this gets paralysed. What a start this has been. Servine, who was supposed to be a suicide lead, has taken out the first three Pokemon. Probably, yeah, I was going to say it's probably going to protect. Go for a dragon breath. Mm. I thought we might get a uh, paralysis, but we weren't lucky enough. He misses the steamroller though. Mm, we still don't get it. Doesn't miss with this one. And I think Bagon. Oh, actually, no, not Bagon. Uh, Charmeleon's probably going to be the best counter to this. Single Flame Burst should do it. Unless it's got Aquatail, but we leave it. Thank God for that. Down it goes. Out next, look on Coffee. And to be honest, Charmeleon. You've done your job. Although actually I could have probably done with keeping that against the Ivysaur. But oh well. We'll bring Flaffy in. We'll just shockwave. Oh we actually outspeed, I didn't think we would. Life is quite a slow Pokemon. Out next will come Ivysaur. So we need Horsey to do some damage here with Icy Wind. Outspeeds. That really does no damage whatsoever. Aegon can come in there. 
see how much a fire fang does. That protects annoying, I'm not gonna lie. That doesn't do anywhere near enough. And now it's gonna toxic stall. Yeah, we could have done with keeping Charmeleon, really. Get a Thunder Wave off. Sets up another Leech Seed. Now we'll go back into Bagon. We just gotta pray for a Paralysis. annoying Alright, get to leech seed off Go back into Flayfee I feel like charge beams are really not going to do anything. He went for a protect there, clearly. Okay, we've got the special attack boost. Now we can go for a swift. Another paralysis. We can just keep it in that range. Oh, we've got the KO. The last one's a goal bat. Um, it's gonna outspeed us though. So we need Flavie for this. Oh, if we had a little bit more HP, we would have probably lived that. But at least we know what to do next time. At least we know what we need to keep. Right, well, we're back for round two. Um, I think we're going to be able to do this time. So same strategy, lead off Servine, get a leech seed off. I avoided it. Wait a second, it just drain punched. I've never seen Trubbish do that. And now let's see how much Dragon Breath does. Alright, so he's got his two sets of toxic spikes up. Dragon Breath will KO. Up next should be Ghastly, which I'm sure we just straight up KO. Oh, we don't, but he gets paralysed. Gets off an Icy Wind though, which nearly KOs, but we do get the speed rise. Another Dragon Breath. Right, Whirlipede comes out. Just get some chip damage with a Dragon Breath off. Connects with a Steamroll that. See, now I want to think that Bagon KOs. So then we've got full health, Chameleon. We get the Quick Claw. Oh my god, he protects. How annoying is that? Do not KO. Oh, he gets the flinch though. This thing is so annoying. And then he goes for a protect. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to use a fresh water. Oh, it doesn't make a difference. We need a quick claw. Oh, it doesn't KO though. Or C to come in. 
as long as it lives a hit, we should KO here. Yeah. Protects though. Like, this attempt has not gone well at all. Just live one. Oh, it does, that's clutch. Right, that finishes that off. Oh, Dragon Rage as well. Could have done with that earlier. No, we'll get rid of Twister. Coughing comes out. Let's see if we outspeed. Yeah, we do. Dragon Rage going to do a lot. Bring out Charmeleon. Flame Burst. Next comes Golbat. We'll go Flavy for this. Right, we need to. I don't think we one hit KO this, so we need to speed control it. For a straight up in a shot, we should do that. Yeah, now we shockwave, get the paralysis as well. That's key. Yeah, I think we've won this now because I think Chameleon one shots Ivysaur. We'll stay in there. Thunder wave if we're quick enough. Surprised she didn't protect there. Giga Drain, we don't mind that. And now we're bringing Chameleon to finish it off. Gets the protect, but it doesn't really matter. Oh, it does live it though. Tanked it quite well. Oh, it's paralysed. That's actually good. I mean, this is going to be close. It's going to go for a protect. And it's paralysed. That's so key. That won us the battle because that would have been close with the toxic damage. But, oh, man, that was that was tough. So, what are you doing losing, Roxy? Well, I guess that means you're strong. This stinks, but I gave it everything I had, and I feel revitalised and refreshed now. Here, proof that you beat me. And we got the second gym badge. Two badges, now Pokemon to level 30, even Pokemon you got in trades will realise how good you are and won't ignore your commands. Also here, use this TM. And we got the TM for Venishock. TM9 is Venishock, it covers the target in a special poisonous liquid. Even better if your target's already poisoned, it does double damage. It almost packs too much of a punch. And it's dead silent in here because we've shot everyone up. Oh, who's this? Hey you. I felt like you were something special during your battle with Roxy. Maybe you could swing by Pokestar Studios sometime. You've been invited to Pokestar Studios? Oh, I forgot. The old man. I have to get him back to work as captain. But first, what's that noise? Sounds like it's coming from the pier. Well, we're going to go and heal and then we'll find out what that's about, but I'm so glad to have finished that. Like, you ha I had to use some proper strategy to um, get the win there against Roxy. And here's Hugh. So are you guys Team Plasma then? That's right, we're Team Plasma. Two years ago, we were betrayed by the man we respected as our king and hero, so our liberation of the Unova's region Pokemon ended in failure. However, we'll never give up. We will persevere. We already have another plan in motion. Shut it. You guys are the worst. You talk about saving Pokemon, but you're just Pokemon thieves. Don't think I'll ever forgive you. In the ranch, we got caught chasing Herdia. And now, we're getting involved in trouble. This kind of stinks. Well, it's okay, isn't it? If we defeat and release their Pokemon. Okay, kiddos, when you're ready, give it your best shot. 
I'll crush you and your new plans. I can never forgive Team Plasma. What? You think you can beat me? I mean, of course I can. You're not going to be any more difficult than that Roxy battle. Oh, it's a double battle, though. To be honest, if we hadn't been such a high level, a B drill and a butt would have been quite challenging. I can't believe kids like these caught us off guard. Let's run. And off they go. What a bunch of creeps. Split up, you go check Route 20, I'm going to speak to my dad. If I'd lost, my precious Pokemon would have been taken. Thanks you to use this. It gives us the HM for cut, but you don't really need it because Drayano hacks have got rid of cutting trees. That's a hidden machine, right? It's cut. Pokemon at no cut can use it even when they're not in battle to cut down small trees. Oh, but deforestation has made those trees rare these days. Come on, we're splitting up and searching Route 20. Yeah, so like what I said, Drayano hacks have kind of eliminated the tr um, cut trees. Help me check Route 20. Again? I don't know what it is with him. He gives it all the big talk. What, he runs off and hides? I can't actually remember where it is. Oh yeah, it's down here. Yeesh. I really hate when people won't let things go. Oh, it's another battle. Well that was a really easy battle. Now that I think about it, if I run this way no one can help me. I have to head toward the ocean. So with that in mind I'm going to flee again. Goodbye Burbank City. And here comes Hugh late to the party. Well, they're really good at running anyway. Still, she just said something useful. This must be move they must be moving around by boat. Castelia City has a big port, I wonder if they headed there. Okay, let's go back to the Verbank and look for someone who looks like they know a lot about ships. If I remember right, there was a place to board boats on the docks. Who's this? You there. There was a woman, clad entirely in black, sprinting towards Verbank City. And just then, a boy with hair shaped like a quailfish with a fire in his eyes. May I ask what this commotion is about? Hmm. Then it must be true, Team Plasma has returned. They've already made like bandits to Burbank, if you'll excuse the pun. I suspect they'd have left via the dock, so there's little we can do now. Oh my gosh, it's Bryson. I'm totally your biggest fan. You were incredible as Bryson, man. Can I get your autograph, please? Aha, yes, of course. Here you go, a token of thanks for your support. Please excuse me, I must speak with this trainer here. My apologies for the sudden interruption. As you'd likely ascertain, my name is Bryson. I've recently resumed a career in acting after having worked as a gym leader for some time. The courage you've shown by chasing after Team Plasma is admirable. For a small change of pace from acting, I would like to see your skill in battle. Please meet me. Please meet with me in Verbank City. Until then, I bid you farewell. Mwahaha, I will end you now, Ryolu girl. Ah, uh, yeah. So this replaces. Ah, uh, Bryson, I love you, Bryson. Yeah, this replaces Pokestar Studios. Save you having to do all that um, cutscene thing. Right then, let's see how good you are, Bryson, man. You've arrived, good. I enjoy occasional battle. Will you share one with me? You have my thanks. In my acting career, I have learned that to direct a marvellous film, the presentation is everything. Why don't we set the stage? Those eyes, I've been looking forward to this battle. Let's cut straight to it. Looks like we got a little uh, little gathering.
That wasn't actually a bad battle. Wasn't expecting him to have ice types. You are strong. No, you and your Pokemon are strong. In honor of your stout heart, I will give you this. And we get a Nevermelt Ice. Not bad. Wow. Wicked. What a toxic shock. You're climbing higher up the charts. There is also strength in being with other people and Pokemon. Receiving their support will make you stronger. Thank you for the battle. I should return to Pokestar Studios. Please excuse me. Well done. You also beat Roxy, I see. You must be a pretty good trainer. Um, hello, Roxy. Ha 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 ha. I dreamt of making my debut on the silver screen, but I'm sorry, I can't face this right now. And off he goes. Ah. I love him, but sometimes he drives me crazy. You want to go to Castelia City, right? Then you'll need my old man Chip. I'll go and talk to him. So, it looks like we're going to be making our way to Castelia City. I thought your movie was pretty good. So you saw it? That movie was... No, it wasn't the movie, it was me. I was so excited that I didn't really become Ryo Man. Acting like that won't thrill or excite anyone. Come on, don't get down. You can keep trying while you continue on as captain. As long as you don't cause anyone trouble, I won't get mad. I don't know how the Pokestar Studios people feel about that, though. Oh, did you hear us? Well, it looks like everyone from Team Plasma got away. I don't feel really good about it, but at least they're gone. Oh, there was a lot of ruckus, but you can sell to Castellia City now. Okay, I guess I'll do my best as a captain. I'll excite and thrill everyone by barreling through rough waves. So, in we head. And here's you. You're going to Castellia City, right? I'm going to look for Team Plasma, I can't forgive those guys. Hey Captain, show us that ship you're so proud of. Of course, please step this way. And there we go, taking the beautiful views. That is actually stunning for when you think about when it came out. And we've arrived at Castelia City. So this is Castelia City. It's much bigger than I'd heard, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to find Team Plasma, no matter where they run. Oh yeah, Rex. Here, let's register each other's x transceiver number. We didn't even need it in Aspersia. We could see each other any time. That's a strange ship. A sailing ship in this day and age. And off he goes. So yeah, we're going to end the episode there. Um, we've done quite a bit. Got two team members. Um, looking good. You never know, by the time we take on the next gym, we might have a fully evolved uh, team member. But I know we can get Gibble soon, so that'll round off our six. And yeah, next episode we will look at taking on um, Burr for the third gym badge and progressing on the story with Team Plasma. Thank you everyone for watching and I hope to see you all next time.